Last time, we got to meet Jesus as the Bridegroom. One more title of Jesus, beginning with the letter B, is the brightness of God's glory. Paul mentions that in Hebrews 1 verse 3. I read, Who being the brightness of his glory, an express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Amen. My favorite author wrote in her book, Christ Object Lessons, page 115, and I quote, He is the brightness of the Father's glory and the express image of his person. The glory of the attributes of God is expressed in his character. Every page of the Holy Scriptures shines with his light. Amen. The brightness of every light dispels darkness. Light reveals what is hidden by darkness. And indeed, Christ is the one who reveals the glory of God, which is hidden from us by the darkness of sin in us. Paul confirmed this when he wrote to the Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6 for God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, had shined in our hearts, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are to have this revealed knowledge through his word understood, and have the willingness to spread the word. By so doing, we will have the ability to shine this light to others. Amen. Questions. Do you really want to experience the light and glory of God in your life? And do you want the dark spots in your life to fade away? Get close to Jesus. As you spend time with him from day to day through prayer and Bible study, you will realize that all the darkness of sin and all darkness of fear in your life will fade away. You will naturally reflect the character light and glory of God. Amen. Now the prayers. Praise and thank God for being the light and glory in our life. Praise God and thank him for his power to heal and to answer your prayers as a father. Thank him for granting you another day to relate with him. We should pray for the sick, the aged, the vulnerable, and the children living under difficult situations. Pray and intervene for all who are taking care of COVID-19 patients and of course the patients themselves and those healed but being stigmatized. Let's also pray against the spread of the virus in cities, schools and all public places. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for giving us your word. Thank you for encouraging us, for protecting us and guiding us with your word. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us the opportunity to get to know you closer. Today we learn that we have the ability to shine the light by spreading your word. So we pray that you give us the strength to be able to go to others and share your word. Father, I pray for all the people under difficult situations. I pray that you help them, Lord. I pray for all the sick people, not just them. I also pray for the health workers, doing all they can to save their lives. Dear Lord, I pray that you be with them, help them and guide them so that they can help everyone get back on their feet. I also pray for every single family going through a hard time. Father, I pray that you continue to bless us, continue to be with us, and continue to protect us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
风。